Hi guys, it's Mokobe here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Elementor in your WordPress website. Let's get into the video. So, the first thing you need to do is that you simply need to go to your plugin section. After which, you click on Add New. Once you get there, you simply search for this plugin called Elementor. Once you're there, you simply need to install it. So guys, it's a free version, but if you want to get the premium version, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below where you can actually purchase it. So after that, you click on what activate. Okay, once activation is complete, you simply need to click on Elementor. This is it here. After that, you click on setting. So guys, yeah. You are going to simply need to choose your post type so i'm going to insert for landing page and product after that for integration if you want to generate your google map embedded api key you simply need to go to your google cloud once you once you are there if you don't yet know how to create the google cloud account i'm going to be leaving a link in the description box below to show you guys how to create your google cloud account after that, you click on this three dot here. Once you're there, you click on API, key, API and service. After that, you click on credentials. Once you're here, you click on create credentials. After that, you click on API key. So it's going to create us an API key. After getting the API key, you simply copy it. After that, you come back to your WordPress insert it here for advanced we are going to leave it at the default manner future we'll leave it at the default manner so once you are done with all of that you simply need to what to click on what save changes okay guys after that we are going to create a page to test this so let's say text after that, you click on what? Publish. So, you can simply choose um, a template format. That is, but we are going to leave it at the default manner. As you can see, here, full length. You can see. So, we are going to leave it at the default manner. So, we won't change that. After that, we are going to click on what? Edit with Elementor, which is going to take us to another interface. So guys, here you can start by editing your page. As you can see, with the Elementor free, you can create a widget. That's it. That's it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. If you face any difficulty doing this, we love you all. See you in the next tutorial. Peace out.